the Filmate 3 monitor on a single bin roller drill. I'll come and show you how to calibrate it and how it all works. Cut. So that's that. So just explaining the gear on it. So C bin, I've got the electric motor running the accord metering unit. Just here we've got a calibration switch, so when we calibrate this thing it's easy to make everything happen. And down here, on, on this drill we're running a radar, but we could run off a GPS speed pulse or a ground wheel sensor. You'll see on this drill also that all we do is run a loom down the drill. We've got no magic boxes full of electronics. The, um, all the all the smart stuff happens in the cab, keeping the electronics secure and yeah, in good nick. So in here. So we've got the Fieldmate 3 monitor. Let's say if we were coming to do a new job. Can you see that okay? That's a good angle. Right there, so, so to calibrate this, let's say um, from the monitor being off at the moment, so we start her up. We calibrate it, so the first thing we do, we come down to set seed, single bin. Quick press power, get into here. We've got a prime mode. We wanna go into this so we can run the switch on the drill, Let's hold the arrow key. Now it's waiting for us to push the calibration button on the drill. So we head down the back. So let's assume this thing's full of seed. And we've got our magic seed bin here that's going to catch the material that comes out of this during a calibration. So all we've got to do is push this button here and the motor starts. In calibration mode we spin the motor 10 times. And all the while that's happening, the materials coming out of here would be putting it, catching it into a container, then we would weigh it and that magic weight from the calibration cycle is entered into the monitor. So you can see the motor slowing down there and that's done a perfect 10 turns. For whatever reason, we want to run the calibration again. Put your empty seed bucket under here to catch the material and just hit the go button. Once the monitor detects the motor's started, it then takes over and spins the metering shaft a perfect 10 times. So materials coming out of here and, and make believe and you hear the motor rev down towards its last last turn. There she goes. Stop. So let's assume we've captured our material, we've weighed it, we've got the magic weight and we'll enter it into the monitor. Let's say it's 300 grams we've got out of this thing. So um, back at the, the Fieldmate monitor, we uh, quick press power to get out of that screen and just come with the up arrow up to the main screen here. We just hold down any arrow key. And this is the edit seed screen. We want to enter the weight. We've highlighted weight here. Hold down the arrow key. Now we said we got 300 grams back there. So we just adjust this number here to get 300 grams. I just bring your attention, we've got this little bar graph here that tells us the rev range of the motor. That's basically 0 to 100 RPM. So once we get the 300 grams in there, we'll see how the motor revs will look. It's 
speeds up the longer you hold your finger on the bad end. Heating for 300 grams. Nearly there. Right here. So, the other thing to do is our drilling rate. So, we know that the bin pushes out 300 grams in calibration. Now we just want to tell it what our kgs per hectare are. So, in this case, we'll stick them down to um, 5 kilograms a hectare. And the thing we want to uh, keep an eye on is this wee bar graph here tell us, tells us how fast the motor is going to turn when we're doing 10 k's an hour drilling. So as we bring this down to our 5 kilos a hectare setting, you'll see automatically how the, this rev's been back calculated to tell us how things would be looking if we were doing um, 10 k's an hour while drilling. And all this bar graph does is save us a, a lot of guesswork that when you're actually on the paddock, you'll know straight away that the motor's in a, in a happy rev range. So we've got 5 kgs a hectare, when we're drilling at 10 k's an hour the motor's going to be doing 20 rpm and I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, if the motor was revving way up here at say 100, if we make the metering unit push out more material that'll automatically bring down this, this rev. So that's us, we're all set up and we're in business. So our rate's 5 kilograms a hectare and that's us all set cut